This video, I'm going to be giving you kind of a unique little passing concept. I'm pretty sure that's only found in the Patriots playbook. We're going over the play Pat Sale out of the Patriots bunch. And I just want to talk about this play because I don't feel like it gets enough love this year. I do think this is a really, really good play. And it's a concept. Um, and the beauty of the Pats playbook or the Patriots playbook is you have U-trips, which is a really good formation. You have trips tied in, which I believe is one of the better formations in the game. And you also have a pretty decent bunch this year as well uh, with the way that the bunch meta is in this game. I think that the Pats playbook is actually really good. Um, and specifically for this play, uh, Pats sale is what makes it so powerful. This play is very similar to the play deep attack, but I actually think it's better than the play deep attack out of the, the West Coast bunch. Now, if you guys want to get access to my full uh, uh, bunch offensive ebook, we've got three different variations of our gun bunch offensive ebook this year. Got one out of Washington, got one out of, um, oh gosh, uh, Pittsburgh, and we're actually going to be releasing one out of West Coast here in a few days. This Patriots one, I'm actually considering putting out a bunch of ebook on this as well. And if you're in the Patreon, you'll get access to all of those. We have an entire library of ebooks. You can join the Patreon for just ten dollars, and it'll get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. So if you want to sign up for that, the link is going to be available down in the description. So like I said, I I do think Pat Sale actually is really good this year for two main reasons. Uh, and we're going to show them to you in this video. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our best route runner here at this outside player. Um, you know, if he has like slot o matic or slot of print it, whatever, you know, put him there. And then that's really all you need to do. Um, but this C route is actually really good. So um, compression C routes this year are really good against man to man. So if I was running press man on, you know, whatever, what you're going to see here is if I just snap this ball, this C route is going to get pretty interesting, um, pretty interesting separation. And let me see if I can give myself some more time here because practice mode shows are insane. When he cuts outside, you see how he kind of like cooks to the sideline really, really well. Now, um, you can do a couple different things to make this a little bit better. Uh, one of the things I like to do is to actually put my bunch on the short side of the field for this. It's going to make this play really good against the zone. And then what you'll see here again, press man. And then uh, you'll see, I'm just going to streak that R1 and you'll see here, see how he loops out just like that. That is a really good man beater. So we can pair this with really good zone beaters um, and other man beaters, of course, as well. So we're going to put the tight end on an in route. And then you can leave this little inverted streak or you can just regular streak the slot. Okay, and then I would block the running back just for extra protection. And what you'll see is, again, if you watch the C route, you see how it's creating natural picks and rubs within this formation against press man. Now, you might be asking, what about off coverage man? Well, here's what that looks like. Here's off coverage man. I don't know how I'm getting screamed at by 49. Uh, but here, here's off coverage man. So again, just run the play. You'll see he'll loop outside really well and he'll be able to get separation, okay? So the C route is really, really, really good. And I think when you pair it with a streak, um, it's, you know, it's, it, it's definitely really, really effective. You'll see again here, if you watch, pair that with that streak. Um, this also is gonna create some random, what's, re what's really interesting is like, let's say that they, um, you know, let's say they play press man and they put a purple uh, out here to stop your C route. Okay, so they're gonna put a purple out there to stop the C route um, and then they're gonna use her in the middle of the field. If you watch this, uh, this, this like straight up streak here, you'll see something interesting. You'll see here that R1 will just literally torch his man over the top. And that's press man. Um, it'll actually also cook shaded down man as well. Okay? So that means that they have to have safety help over top. So that's going to require a deep half over on that side. And then if they want to stop a C route to the left, then they're also going to have to have you know safety help over top. Okay? So now... This is going to open up a little window, a little pocket to hit this route to Mike Evans. And what you'll see is if I just pass lead this inside, this is a really consistent man beating route. 
uh, this year. It's probably one of the better man beating routes in this formation. This little angled post is super effective um, at beating man coverage. So this play, literally, you don't have to make any adjustments. You just snap it, and it works. That's what's so good about this. Another thing that you can do, let's say you want to snap the ball, go ahead and just drag your tight end, and boom, there's another setup. So you see how you know this play um, just really good for the man-to-man -man meta, in my opinion. Now, once you start to see more zone coverage, uh, what I would recommend doing is, well, I'll show you a couple things. So if you if they just run like a like a traditional cover three. If you watch this C route, um, it's going to do some interesting stuff. So you see, again, it's going to loop in, and then it's going to loop out. Notice that a, a curl flat will kind of defend it for the most part. So when what we want to do against zone coverage, um, and you can do this against man as well, and it'll be effective, would be some variation of this setup right here. Uh, just this little motion out slant. You've got this little uh, fade, and then you're going to trust that fade over the middle to clear out zones so that we can hit that post. Uh, so, so, you know, again, real simple, uh, really simple uh, setup against zone. And, again, this is a very versatile play as well. And, again, you can throw that C route inside as well, you know, if you want to throw that, like, right on the cut. Um, this C route just is kind of a unique little route in the formation. Now, let's say, for example, you want to run a corner strike, you know, style setup. You know, this formation is a plethora of corner routes. Like it has corner strike and it's curl flat. I think it even has another one that I'm not thinking of off the top of my head. But you're going to have corner routes from these two at least, right? So the C route can give you, you know, something else. For example, maybe you want to slant uh, the tight end. We're going to streak gauge and we're going to in route Godwin uh, like this and maybe motion this guy out. You'll see that against man to man, you're going to get these natural rubs and you're going to have that post or you're going to have that slant or, or backside dig. So you have a lot of different options within one play. I think it's actually a really natural pick and rub you're going to see right here. See how it kind of gets this little pass off, and then I can actually throw this fade over the top of press man. So you're not going to get a lot of press man. Another thing I want to quickly, um, just a little snapshot of verticals, is if they don't run shaded underneath man, then I can throw this little free form outside, all day long so now they have to shade underneath so in a situation where they have to shade underneath and let's say you want to take advantage of this glitchy corner route maybe you want to do um, you know maybe you want to do something like so just something simple like this you'll see here that it will create this natural rub the dude literally fell down and the slant standing wide open so you know again just understand like they're gonna have to shade underneath to stop this offense and you can do little things with your routes to create natural picks and rubs of this play. And a lot of times somebody's going to be standing wide open either there or the post over the top. Notice also that when we run this with our bunch to the short side, the post has a lot of space. Um, to, it can run for a long time. So, you know, you could even run, you know, something like this. Like, let's say, um, let's say that you want to run this guy on the streak. And you want to run, you know, do something simple like this. I mean, this is a very simple concept. What you'll notice, just want you to watch the post. You're going to see it's going to run and run and run all the way to the numbers. So as long as I throw that post before it hits the numbers on the opposite side, we're going to be fine. So let's say, for example, we want to attack cover two. Um, you'll notice here, you know, again, as long as you have a clear out route, you can, it doesn't really matter what you do other than that. Um, but this clear out is going to create a wide open post and it could be against 30 yard clouds. It doesn't matter. This post is going to cook every zone, every man coverage. It literally has to be usered. Um, this post this year is, is, is that it's not as good as it was in Madden 19. Uh, but it is certainly back, uh, that throw right there, uh, is so difficult to defend this year. And the beauty of this is that this post consistently, and I mean very consistently, will cook man to man. You don't find that this year. This is one of those posts that really does a good job against man to man. Another popular thing that people like to do in bunch or against bunch is to put an outside third out here. Well, you'll notice that this will also cook that third. Now I need to have something to pull down the yellow. But if they're if they're running outside thirds on their outside guy, let's say for example they do that and then they cross man the post and then they roll a safety. So there's a lot of help uh, for this guy. 
you're going to notice here that this cross man, he's going to have that sharp cut to the inside, and he's going to be able to consistently beat it. So literally just freestyling around Pat's sail uh, makes this really good. And another thing that I want to just quickly point out about the Pat's playbook and the Pat's bunch is I could set all these up. Like, it's, oh, bunch trail was the play I wasn't thinking about. So I have sail, I have curl flat, I have verts, and I have corner strike. These are all really good. I also have uh, 518 hook, 518 hook, which is a really good play, a really good bunch play this year. Um, another good play, mesh spot's always good. It has the counter and the base, has spacing switch. So the point is, like, let me just give you a scenario. Let's say, for example, that I come out in trips and then I audible to this formation. You see how it's gonna flip the entire script? And then from there, I can make really simple, really simple hot routes. Like, we're just gonna put this guy on an in route. And that's it. We're just gonna snap the ball at one hot route, get the natural picks and rubs going on. We get that route wide open in the middle of the field. So this allows for a lot of versatility within the Pats playbook, in my opinion, because I could go to something like this. You know, let's say I know that they're running man to man and they're gonna send six and blitz me. I'm going to go to this, and we're just going to quick snap uh, verticals to the sideline, and you see how good this can work. Now, let's say, for example, you want to attack with the corner route. Well, we're just going to go to corner strike. We're going to streak the slot receiver, and then maybe end the backside guy if we want to, something like this. Real simple, and now we're attacking with a corner route on the right sideline. You know, you see how good this can be. And, and then last thing, or not last thing, but especially with, like, tight end apprentice, or not tight end apprentice, but... Um, you know, hot route master. You could do. A, you can e do it even even more with this. Um, I mean, you know, you could do something very very simple with just. I mean, you don't even need abilities for this. You're gonna get corner routes from pretty much everybody. That's important. You have the corner routes that are really good, and then you know you also have, you know, Pat Sale, which I think Pat Sale is such a key play. Um, you know, this 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 post route is really important this year, and just a simple clear out streak with whatever you want to do on the backside. It could be as simple as this right here, and you're going to have a lot of success with this play. You got this blue route, it's one of the best blue routes in the game, and then you know you can kind of combine this with a lot of what we do out of this formation. So let's say you're to the wide side, let's say your, your trips is to the short side, so you're going to come out in short side trips, and again, you audible to verticals. Now what you'll notice is if they're running man, now my vertical wheel on the right has a ton of space to be able to work off this free form. I'm telling you that the, the rate at which they're gonna miss that tackle is actually really, really consistent. And then, you know, um, I just I just really wanna stress, like Pat Sale is such a good man beater. Um, especially like if they're gonna run man coverage on you, watch the C route cook man coverage. See how like it does that little natural pass off like that? Um, really, really, really effective, really effective. And then it's going to funnel them in a zone. And then, you know, next thing you know, you're going to be tight. <laughs> um, and this looks like I'm audible into bunch, but I'm actually audible into tight. Now we're going to run a short side corner route, right? There's just so much you can do with the Pats playbook this year. There's just so much you can do. And trip side in is a big piece of that. But I also think that the fact that I think this Pat sale play is probably one of the more underrated plays in the game this year. Um, doing something simple like this. Watch this C route, especially delayed. Look at how good that is. And that was cover four with a purple, okay? So, you know, this C route can really do a lot of damage. I would really encourage you to utilize this in the zone. Simply streaking the slot's gonna create a clear out for your post, and then you can run whatever pass protection system you want. Just notice here, when that thing has a lot of room to run, those deep blues are gonna fall back anyway. So, really effective concept. I feel like Pat Sale is probably the most underrated bunch play this year. So I wanted to draw attention to it a little bit in this video. If you want to learn more about the Gun Bunch, you can get my full Gun Bunch offensive ebook by joining the Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up. And if you want to sign up, head down to the description of the video and click the link down below.